Yes. Now we'll discuss about the anatomy of clavicle. This is part one. In this part, we'll discuss about the features of the clavicle. Here, first we'll make a diagram. This is manubrium sternae. Here is position of this is first rib. This is first rib. From here to here, this is first costal cartilage. This is first costal cartilage. Here is articular facet for the clavicle. So this is position of the clavicle. So this is clavicle and here is position of This is clavicle. This is scapula. This is humerus. This is humerus. In this diagram, this is scapula. This is coracoid process of the scapula. This process is acromion process of the scapula. This is acromion process. This is acromion process of the scapula. So this clavicle, this is right side of the clavicle, this clavicle medially attached with the sternum, manubrii, and laterally the attached with the acromion, acromial process of the scapula. So this is lateral end, this is medial end, this is shaft. If enlarge this diagram, this is medial end of the clavicle. So, this is clavicle. Here this is a this is medial end, this is lateral end, this is lateral end. And this surface is superior surface, this surface is superior surface from where you can see clavicle like this. And if you turn this clavicle or rotate the clavicle and see inferior surface, or see from here, then this will be inferior surface. This is inferior surface, this is superior surface. And then this is superior view. This is inferior view. Or inferior surface. So, 
you can see it has two ends this is medial end this is medial end and this is lateral end this is medial end this is lateral end this is medial end this is lateral end medial end is also known as sternal end because it joins with the sternum so it is known as sternal end and lateral end articulates or joins with the acromial process so lateral end is also known as acromial end and between these two ends there is shaft this is shaft from here to here this is shaft this is shaft this shaft is divided into two part because it has two curvatures this part and this part this is lateral this is lateral one third part and this is medial two third part so this division is also here in inferior surface so lateral one third part and medial two third part if you see the lateral one third part in this part this part is flat it is flattened superior inferiorly so it has anterior border it has posterior border anterior border is concave anteriorly posterior border is convex posteriorly and superior surface and inferior surface this surface is inferior surface so this surface superior surface in this surface inferior surface so this is lateral one third part this superior surface is subcutaneous you can feel this through the skin this is subcutaneous and inferior surface has cone like or conical projection this is known as conoid tubercle this is known as conoid tubercle and here and the ridge this is trapezoid ridge this is known as trapezoid it has conoid tubercle and trapezoid ridge an inferior surface so this is lateral one third part and if you see medial two third part medial two third part is something like this if you cut a section you will find this is like this so it is it has four surfaces this is superior surface inferior surface anterior surface and posterior surface this is superior inferior anterior posterior surface so this surface is anterior surface this surface is anterior surface this surface is anteriorly convex and this posterior surface is posteriorly is concave and superior surface is subcutaneous you can feel this through the skin and inferior surface this is inferior surface this surface has this surface inferior surface you can see inferior surface is this diagram this is inferior surface inferior surface you can see a groove lateral part this is subclavian groove so here if section is through this part then here you can see this is a groove this is groove this groove is subclavian groove and this groove has the insertion of in this groove there is insertion of subclavius muscle this is subclavius muscle 
is inserted into this groove and this muscle and this is margin of this groove this is margin through the margin a fascia is attached this is clavi pectoral fascia this is clavi pectoral fascia so this is clavi pectoral fascia here it is split and attached to the margin of the subclavian group so here it attached to the margin of the subclavian group so this is subclavian group and another important thing you can see in the inferior aspect of the medial two third part here is an here is a foramen this is known as nutrient foramen this is nutrient foramen nutrient foramen and another thing here you can see the impression for the casto casto clavicular ligament clavicular ligament here is the impression for the casto clavicular ligament so this is features of the clavicle thank you